hi everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to part two of my recent haul i did go ahead and link part one down below in my description box if you have not seen it already so you can check it out and i'm just going to be sharing some items i got from the wildflower and honey collection by vicky Booten, as well as some pink first studios as well so first up i am going to give you guys a look at some other items that i got and i will go ahead and list all of these items down below and the exact colors as well so here from nuvo drops i got these crystal drops and these are called common aqua and when i made my purchase I did get this brush tip marker free and that is a Jane Davenport marker and it is a beautiful mint color as well. And I picked up some purple tape. So I did get some stencils, quite a few stencils. This one would be called Circus Starburst and it is by Cartabella. Here from Honey Bee Stamps, we have the geometric background. Here we have stripes. And then I got some from Picket Fence Studios as well. And my focus on these stencils were for creating backgrounds. Here we have Quilton Market. Here we have the watercolor brush strokes. Here we have waffle squares. And next up we have fairy wings. And I think these were some awesome, awesome stencils to use to create backgrounds on original layouts as well as scrapbooking pages. So here are some pattern papers I got and I did get this pattern paper by Simple Stories, Sunshine and Blue Skies collection and I already had this in my stash and used it but I love it so much I got another copy of it. And I also got from that same collection the Summer Vibes pattern paper. Now you will notice when you look through these items that I did not get a lot of each collection and that's because like I mentioned on my previous videos, I just wanted to have a little bit to make maybe one or two layouts from each collection and then move on to something else. I didn't want a lot just, you know, being in my stash and not being used at all. So here I have from Pink Fresh Studios from the just a little lovely collection. I got that pattern paper, it's called Hope. Here we have the pattern paper called All Around Here. And I absolutely love this side of the paper. This is lovely as well, this wreath, but I definitely will be using the other side. And this has to be my favorite of all, and this one is called One Fine Day. So here also from the Just a Little Lovely collection, I grabbed the white alphas and these are puffy alphas and you do get 217 pieces on there. And I also got the puffy stickers and there are 24 pieces all together there. So I grabbed this pattern paper from Webster's Pages and it's called Happy Day and I think it goes really, really nicely with that pattern paper One Fine Day. So I got it to go with that paper for when I am using it on a layout and this side is just as beautiful but I love the striped side and I also got from Webster's Pages this pattern paper and it's called Hugs and Kisses and I just got it because I love the floral side of it. So next up, I'll give you guys a look at what I got from the Vicky Booten Wildflower and Honey Collection. And you'll see that I got a bit more from this collection than I did from the others. And that's because I can hardly ever resist Vicky Booten products. But I definitely held myself back. I did not get it all. So here we're looking first at Sweet Honey. And here we have Lemon Spritz. Next up, we have the pattern paper called Greenery, and I got that mostly to fussy cut all of those leaves off. And this actually snuck in here by mistake. This is from Indigo and Ivy, it should not be there. And this would be Greenery. Next up, we have Queen Bee, and it's a beautiful honeycomb design with so many beautiful colors on here. And the, the other side of this pattern paper is a pretty dark, 
uh, design. It looks to be like a herringbone design, but it's pretty dark. I will be using the colorful side. And this would be my favorite pattern paper from this collection, which is called Blossom. And I will be using that side. Up next, we have Happy Spirit. And I got two pattern papers, the same pattern papers, because I have an upcoming video hop where I'll be doing a layout. And this would be the paper I'm using. And I hope my layout looks as lovely as I think it will with this design so be sure to be on the lookout for that and here we have some embellishments I got I got some cardstock stickers and these there are 49 pieces in here I also got the chipboard stickers there are 73 pieces and it says on the packaging it's gold holographic stickers and these would be the chipboard stickers so I also got the sticker book and I will go ahead and open it up just to show you the first page because there is a sticker on the front of the packaging that blocks the view of the stickers behind. So I will go ahead and open it up just to show you that first page. Then I'll give you guys a look through of all of the other um, sticker sheets that comes in there. And here I'm going to show you guys the packaging is just as lovely as the product. So do not throw away your packaging. I have used uh, packaging from Vicky Booten on previous projects that I've done. Here we have the stamp and die set and I am going to pull it out. I'm also going to hold it up against the palm of my hand so you can have an idea of how large that floral piece is. The one to the top right which is pretty big. And you have the leaf as well that goes with it. And there are also some sentiments, a bee, and you can see the honeycomb design there as well. And here I also grab the stencils. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look through of these products today and maybe it helped you decide whether or not you wanted it for yourself. And don't forget to check out part one of this haul which I'll have linked down below in my description box, along with all of these items listed as well. So I want to thank you all for watching today and until my next video. Bye.